welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about shadow work and what the shadow is. Now the reason why I didn't post Thursdays is because it was Thanksgiving and I wanted to spend it with my daughter. I don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but I do give it a day to be thankful for family and being able to spend it with them and eat food with them. That's literally what I think Thanksgiving is to me, not the other stuff. Uh, but today we wanted to talk about shadow work and what the shadow is. For those of you guys who don't know, I have been on a spiritual journey for years now, and I am finally at the stage where I need to work on my shadow. So that's what I've been working on myself. If you guys are coming into this page and this is where you're at and what in the stage of your life, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. Now, the shadow is an unconscious part of your personality and ego. So therefore, you had developed these shadow traits from five years old when you started to develop your own personality and why you are the way you are and how many times you've been. Let's say you don't trust people, right? Most of that stems from childhood trauma that you couldn't trust your parents and trust other people and then in your relationships you attracted the same thing and then it just became a part of your shadow that you push people away and that's something that you have to work on that's a part of your shadow work that you need to do and dive in deep on why those are patterns you keep coming up with now uh, today I want to talk about the books that I've been reading to work on my shadow because lately I've been needing to do some shadow work. Now, I have this habit of being an anxious attachment person. Therefore, when I get into a relationship, I completely forget about myself and delve myself in into the relationship. And that is all I think about. It is unhealthy. And it's a very codependent thing to do. So I've learned that I have to be able to have an identity within myself while also being in a relationship because that is healthy. But losing yourself in a relationship isn't healthy. And in order to feel healthy or be healthy in a relationship, you have to heal your shadow and heal yourself. And I don't mean like completely be healed because we will never completely be healed, but understand the triggers, understand yourself and be compassionate with yourself and be able to give yourself room and time and space to really dive deep and put in work for yourself. Understand that you are going to need space in a relationship to heal yourself as well, but also have space for them and understand them. You have to be compassionate with yourself and compassionate with them as well because they're going to come with also issues. Now, now, this book has been around TikTok for like months now. It's called The Shadow Work Journal. I just started this. Mm, I would say it just came in a couple, like a day and a half ago. But I'm already on page 15. It is literally telling you what to do. It has a whole barcode to, to basically chart the things that you're doing, chart your thoughts, to write down the triggers. It says track your triggers, check in your feelings, journal prompts, healing exercises, and view emotional patterns over time. So what is doing, it's tracking what is what triggers are constantly triggered and why they're triggered and what triggers them. What does something somebody do that reminds you of something that triggers your body or your unconscious thoughts to be in a fight or flight mode? Now this, I would say, is really good. But my my friends, I love them. My dear, they're a couple. They're a yoga couple, and they are dedicated into helping people work through their inner work, which is your shadow self. The inner work is an invitation to true freedom and lasting happiness. I recommend this book. This book, I just started reading. I just got it. I think Friday or Thursday, and I'm already in awe of this. Now, let me, let me just read a little thing that I was reading today. Today, I was on chapter three, 
and it says, it says this, all the melodrams that you believe make up your life are only an illusion distracting you from the grander truth that you even get the proper opportunity to exit at, to exist at all nature's wonder will reveal that you are no different than the life within the plants the energy of the earth sea fire and air of the spirit of the animals your consciousness and gift of life is the same as all other life on this planet all equally blessed to be experienced and exist at all all is equally divine perfect and full of love we just have to have the eyes to see it, whether waiting in traffic, washing a dish, or getting interrupted with the removal of mindless mentality. All moments can be experienced with the rem remembrance that life is a gift to enjoy and praise. And then there was this quote that really got me. It says, this is the real secret of life, to be completely engaged in what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it's play. Now, the shadow work is basically remind you to go back to your childlike mind where everything was free, everything was bliss, everything was a surprise. You know, we're so caught up in today's society of like, oh man, I have to work, oh man, this, all that. But if you go back to healing that shadow self and going back to that five year old version of you, that everything is a surprise everything's a gift, everything is amazing, everything is bliss, you start to live in the present, you start to live the way you lived as a child. Now you're, you're an adult, but you have a child mind. In order to live life of freedom, you must go back to that childlike mind and live in the now and be happy and present with yourself. That is the shadow work. You want to go back to being free and love because as a child as a five-year-old child all you believed was love and happiness and bliss you know and being okay with expressing yourself because it was who you were in the here and now now we're so worried about our past our future and not really focus on the present so that is what the shadow work is the shadow works reminds you to go back to the present moment and to first of all grab onto what happened in the past, see why, see your patterns, see how that pattern is affecting your life now and heal that pattern. Obviously your mind and body is still gonna have moments, but what we do is we focus on breathing to bring you back to the present moment. With shadow work, there is, it's a lot of triggers and it's a lot of work and it's a lot of emotions coming up and you have to be able to see it. But in order to come back to place, like when you're triggered, take like a five second breath where you're just inhaling and exhaling for five seconds in and out and as many as you can within five seconds and hold it for two seconds. What you're doing is you're, you're, you're focusing yourself on the moment. Like this is a trigger, but I'm here. I'm not in my past. I'm not in my future. I am in the here and now. I think shadow work is is beneficial for anybody at any place at any time and i think it's crucial for someone to really work and dive in into your shadow but before that you can work into your shadow you have to come to a realization that there is an issue going on within you that you keep being triggered and you keep bringing up these unconscious habits and things that are happening in your life where you're repeating cycles i cannot wait to really express the things that I have been going through. Now, my repeated cycles are basically, like I said, I lose myself in a relationship because it becomes my identity. The whole relationship becomes my identity. And that is because of my childhood trauma. I went through a really abusive childhood trauma. Like my mother was mentally ill. She had schizophrenia and learning disability so i don't want to get too deep into this into my story just yet because i still want to help people but i don't think i'm ready to share my full story just yet with you guys and when i am i really want an open space for you guys to see how maybe you've also experienced certain things and how it can benefit with 
the work that I've done spiritually to get to where I'm at today. Now, this also, also this inner workbook talks about, it gives you, oh my God, they did so great with this book because the, you can also join, there's a barcode on here that you can join a group and track your progress. And it has a whole barcode as well. And they want to hear your updates and the work that you're doing. And then they send you emails about med daily meditations after you read certain chapters. And I got done reading one and two, and they had a meditation about the breathing work and stuff like that. And I was just like, this is amazing. This is what I want to do. I want to help people. I want to give back. And that's exactly what I'm doing with my knowledge and my understanding of life is what I know is what I'm going to give to you guys. What I don't know, I'm always going to take into perspective of learning because I'm always a student to this life. And whatever I learn, I'm a teacher to some, you know. Uh, so this is, this is amazing. I cannot wait. The next video is definitely going to dive deep into some stories that I want to tell you guys about my life and how I came to know what my shadow was, what the experiences were, was in my stories, in my relationships, in my life, in my up, upbringing to bring me to this point where I finally was like, I'm going to work on my shadow because it definitely took a lot of repeating cycles, a lot of I'm so sick of being sick. <laughs> I'm so sick of being tired of constantly living my life in an, like, why am I here type. I'm tired of being depressed all the time. I want better for me, you know? So mental health is real, y'all. And in case, we, if we don't put in the inner work, we are always going to struggle our mind. And that's my thing is I always battled my thoughts. My thoughts always overcame who I was. In the moment and I don't want to keep suffering my thoughts I want to take control of those thoughts and I want to be free I want to be free of the thoughts I want to be free of how much control my thoughts have over me but this is a starting point how to do shadow work first it starts with you acknowledging that there is a problem that you need to work on and second is putting the work and really analyzing the cycles you keep repeating. Third is take time to do breath work and meditate within those triggers and jot whatever you have known of your triggers. Jot down, write it down, journal. Whenever you're triggered, journal those things. This is what triggered me. Why did it trigger me? Where does it stem from? And lastly, take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself because you deserve love and happiness. I love y'all. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'll talk to y'all later. Like, subscribe, and comment. Till next time.